Hello everyone, good evening, good evening. I am Tierra Charday. I'm back with another banger. <laughs> I'm back with another message. I hope you are doing well. I literally have other messages uploading as we speak. It's just taking a really long time for some reason. It's probably because I'm bringing that heat. <laughs> and you know how they be hating. They be hating out of Oracle out here, man. It's hard out here for me sometimes. <laughs> you know, they try to sabotage the message so the chosen ones can't get these codes. But, you know, we still on the grind. We're still moving forward with the purpose, right? Still sticking to the mission. So let's get into this message I need you to know that you are powerful, you are amazing, you are on the right path, okay? I feel like there's a lot of energies right now trying to distract the chosen, trying to distract the healers and the light workers, the shadow workers from their path and their purpose. A lot of stuff is coming in to distract you, but there's a need to keep your eyes on the prize right? Stay moving forward. What it is, what is it that you're trying to accomplish? What are you trying to build? Stick to it. Check your circle. Look around at your team. Are they in alignment with what you're trying to create? And if they're not in alignment, maybe you may not be in alignment. There's a need to elevate. So maybe you have some guides or some mentors around you. You know, I said in the last few messages, we are students and we are teachers at the same time. Look around you. You may have a guide in your midst. And for some of you, you are the guide. It's just people aren't really seeing you as that. And it could be for various reasons. So, you know, some of y'all, you, you kind of dim in your light a little bit. You're not too sure. You're kind of hesitant about what you have to offer to the world. I get it. I really understand that. For others of you, you have people around you who aren't supportive um, of your path. And others still, you may have real live haters around you. And that, that's that been coming up for quite some time as well. Um, and you just need to know that people are going to talk no matter what it is that you do. It doesn't matter. People are always going to have something to say. And like the Bonnie Raitt song, let's give them something to talk about. Give them something to talk about, my love. You are the headliner. You are the showstopper. Stand in the spotlight unapologetically. You know, now we're moving in that season of really just shutting the show down. Like, you want to see? Baby, I'm passing out tickets. Let's go. I'll give you a front row seat to this greatness. And I feel like my loved ones, you're needing to really embody that energy and say it to yourself as much as possible, okay? Um, there's also a need to tap into your intuition, your own inner knowing, your own inner compass. You know, especially now when, you know, the old way, the old system is crumbling literally right before our eyes. There's a need to follow the guidance that you're being given because you're the revolutionary, you're the healer, you're the priestess, right? You're the shaman, you're meant to lead. And if you're being called to lead right now, your rule, right? Your reign is not going to look how it used to look in the past. It's not gonna look how the old system um, steered the ship, right? It's not gonna look like that. So, you know, you're needing to have faith in yourself. You're needing to trust yourself and the information that's coming in right now, okay? Um, and again, be mindful of the people around you who are haters. There's a lot of haters on the scene. Where they want to knock you off your path because they're not in alignment with theirs. And it's really human nature. It's not like, you know, pointing your finger at anybody. It's just like, look, this it comes with the territory, right it, it comes with you being powerful you being chosen you being a leader right and also the test can you stand 
Can you stand on the front lines for these other souls who need to be guided by you? And the leaders, they're the toughest, the strongest ones. Many of you have, you know, had to navigate through a lot of blows over the years. And it's really, you know, it's made you stronger. It's made you wiser. It's given you a testimony. And that testimony can be used to liberate other people. So definitely now is the season to persevere and move forward. And really, let these motherfuckers know why you wear the crown. Oh, you see the candle light up when I said that? Let these people know why you're the one that's been crowned, okay? You gotta flex a little bit. You have to brag. I say this all the time. There's no such thing as a bragging woman, okay? If you're, if you're one of my sisters out there and you resonate with this message, you cannot brag enough. The world needs you to brag, okay? At this moment in time, and I say this in these videos, we in North Node Taurus, South Node Scorpio, okay? There's a whole new leadership on the scene right now. We're we, we shutting all this shit down and we're starting over. <laughs> we're starting from scratch. It's the return of the goddess and she's bringing in divine justice. And my priestess is out there, you're ahead of the charge, you know? We're on the front lines. Many of y'all who, who resonate with me and my platform and my messages, it's because you're tribe and you're on the front line. So, you know, I do want to say tap in and shout out to the sis who literally just messaged me. She reminded me and um, I'm thankful for this. I used to teach tarot and how to be an oracle and how to be psychic as fuck <laughs> and all of that, right? We we did workshops in Connecticut as well as online sessions. So if anyone is interested in how to learn how to be the oracle, how to train yourself and trust yourself and the guidance you're being given, definitely tap in and send me a message, okay? And I can guide you. And those who wanna go like deep, 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 you need to enroll in the Pussy Portal program that starts February 22nd because it's literally training intended for the priestesses out here. It's literally spiritual and psychic training to be who you're meant to be. It's the schools that we wish we had, right? <laughs> I always said that, like, I wish there was mystery schools. I wish there were schools to teach you how to really embody the goddess and the priestess. And I went through a lot in order to get this wisdom and now I put it into a program for my priestesses who would be awakening to who they are and they need mentorship, they need a guide, they need the sisterhood, they need the tools and the resources so that they can hone their own intuition and their own gifts. So, you know, that is a message for y'all. I hope it resonates. I am here if you need me, make sure you click on the links in the description box especially the esoteric shop if you go in there you'll be able to see the services i'm offering right now as well as um the courses and programs and how to get in contact with me okay because i'm offering complimentary clarity calls for women who are looking to enroll right now and for my brothers out there you can absolutely book me as well i got you y'all know i love my brothers now okay so i absolutely have sacred space for you as well okay Again, I am T. Erin Chardet. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.